Listen to that shred in action, huh? New song here today on the stream, before we stream, as we stream. We're getting going, we're getting doing. Let's go ahead and boot up Crusader Kings 3 here. If you guys want to check out my brother's sweet hot music, check out CNC Video on SoundCloud. You can find that link in the description. Here you go, right now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and boot up so we can finish our Uhtred, Son of Uhtred. This might be the last campaign episode. We don't know. It might be Tuesday. But um, I'm going to be streaming the new uh, Stellaris DLC that comes out later next week. So I wanted to try it and get a um, get this completed as fast as possible. But before we get started here today, it's important to know that when I'm meandering my way through a medieval kingdom trying to decide if I marry my granddaughter or if I marry my son to my daughter. I needed to have a nice big mouthful of... Sneak energy. Because nothing says Wincest like sneak energy. Let's pop on over to the stream here. Man... Waiting for that to get going here. Let's jump on in. So, in our last episode, unfortunately, Utra died. Utra died in the last couple seconds before. <clears throat> um, before the end of the campaign. So we have a lot to deal with right now. There's a lot of succession going on. Uh, nothing was confederated in our land so we have all of our land still which is good <laughs> i'm glad you enjoy it dragon billy day it's all right it's okay it's, be it's better you don't ask what's well, buffed today just fucking buffed my head if that's what you mean i gotta oh also gotta shake oh gotta shake my sneak i have this tendency to squeeze the hell out of this bottle so hard that it kind of makes the top of it like bow a little bit so let's liquid out so so we got a lot ahead of us before we even deal with the remainder of England. And it looks like Alba actually got a lot of strength into it, so... And they have a pretty good ally in Italy. And they have one over here. Okay, that's uh, that's over here in uh, uh, Ireland. Notifications. So Alba might actually be someone who tries to get a little war going with me. I don't think there's anyone in his family who's not married. Oh, she's dead. Betrothed, betrothed, unmarried, eh? Ooh. What up, Techers? How you doing, man? Sebastian, how are you, bro? She's actually not too bad. <laughs> look, at, look at what I'm saying. Like, oh, she's not too bad. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. That was pretty... So we actually have some candidates here for some marriage into this... To just create a alliance so I don't have to deal with them. Because the big thing we want to do is... We want to complete England. Ooh, that should be paused. What is this for? What, what is going on over here? The Uplander Conquest... Oh, you want this territory from me, Upland? Dude, I will come... I will roll over the, like, like 10,000 great hills. I don't know what that means, but sticking with it. So it looks like we need to... How did this become Upland? Wait. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. The Uplander Conquest, which is part of my territory... So they're losing. Well, they're they're about to not lose. Yeah, Upland is my own territory. Okay, okay, okay. And that makes a little more sense to me. Well, how's about we just do this? I guess I'm right there. 
I'm kind of confused at, at this enemy territory. Am I the only one who's confused here? <clears throat> so I'll raise my armies here and deal with this. These shenanigans. Um, but, for lifestyle, he's gone through both of these chains. These, these li these things. This is my son, this is my, this is, this was the, this was the preferred son, Ragnar, the lion. And, the heir we've set to be... My son, Dyer. Which will happen, that'll happen for sure. <clears throat> Let's see, we gotta we gotta fix this one. Oh, they're all voting for me. Yeah, it'll it'll once we unpause it'll it should fix it. We have not unpaused yet. Who can I transfer to who? No, I don't want to do that. Let's, let's work through this first. Whoa! This guy's named The Cunt? Well. We couldn't do Dire, unfortunately. Um, because we can't... We couldn't do our grandson. Because he didn't have a claim. Um, so we weren't allowed to skip my son and go to my grandson, unfortunately. So we could do this. This could be a cool, fun trial by combat and this guy is in charge of Upland and we could really just kind of kick Upland in the, in the dick right here right? strong language indeed um, don't I have a, yeah I've got a lot of a lot of uh, OS nah you, you can say cunt that's okay can be saying a lot though Council position. Do you deserve a council position? You certainly don't. <clears throat> you preserve, deserve a council position? You actually are not so bad. But Sigbjorn is better. We can declare lots of wars, so we'll close those. Close that. Close this. Disabled buildings, probably because, yeah, we're over our holdings, which we'll deal with in a second. Let's have her go to managed domains. That'll. Oh, only one, huh? Oxfordshire and Berkshire are low county control, which we'll fix in just a second. Lord Reefer over here. Okay, Talisman created. Okay, I don't want to take a concubine right now. I want to get up in that biz. Family members can be married. We have a lot of marriages to take care of. You can see none of my daughters or sons are married. Um, well, it looks like none of my daughters are married. My son is... Oh, and he's not married either. Good lord, man. We have a lot to take care of, guys. So, we'll take care of that in just a second. You can negotiate alliances. Okay, so we might as well... These are all family members. Northumbria. Jorvik. Where's this location? Oh, it's right over here. Oh, no, it's up here. It's up here. Yeah, we'll do that because I don't want him to get ousted. You're in line to inherit titles. That's okay. Active ele elections, we know about that. So, fabricate a claim. Lubeck? Which one's Lubeck? Oh, no, 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 that's okay. We don't need to, we can just do a conqueror. I don't need to, I don't need to forge anything. What's up, Tommy Good? So, guys, what do we do? Um, for, for one, okay, so we're ages, our age is 54. And I'm okay with not going into medicine so that the likelihood of our son taking over faster is a thing. <clears throat> YouTube, what's up, man? How you doing? You all right? You said you're not feeling too hot? You have double genius and you did not pass genius to your only son? Come on. Come on, man.
So the question is, which lifestyle focus did we go into? Oh, you got the second shot. Okay, man. Yeah, I got my uh, mind plan on Wednesday, so I'm excited. We could go into learning and go down. I don't want to go down a hole of body. <clears throat> yeah, trial by combat's looking pretty enticing. We could go in diplomacy. <clears throat> he does have good steward. We could do. We could go into steward for have a little fun with that. <clears throat> Marshall, we've completely we've completed two of of the things here. I mean, sappers is actually very useful, so it's unfortunate we don't have that. Um. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting here. Uh, so he's got Mastermind Flosser too. This guy's such a tank. Look at his stat line too. Even like everything, nothing on him is poor. I'm kind of upset that every single child he's had has genius, except for his son. Hogswoggle. He is 32, and she's 26. I mean, he's chased, which is gonna work against him, but. They still have the chance to have more kids. We could go intrigue. He doesn't have very high natural intrigue though, so it'll be it'll be kind of hard to do all the challenges for him, Paris. Um, I'm thinking we go stewardship, to be honest. I mean, he gets a high natural 22, so he'll probably be able to actually do any of the stewardship challenges. The one girl's a boy. Oh! <laughs> you would be correct, sir! Being trained by the mom, okay. I would actually prefer it would be trained by, by Deer himself. Is he training people? Wards. Ofeg is the, uh, the heir apparent. Most definitely. As I spit again. <clears throat> the eldest is a genius, so we're we're in good shape. The mom has got ambitious, compassionate, and gluttonous. Gluttonous isn't the best, but ambitious and compassionate are solid to have on him. Compassionate can be kind of tedious, so hopefully, hopefully not all that passes on. What is Deer himself? Oh, I don't really want. Chase to pass on. What up, Outpost? How you doing, dude? So, let's go over this one domain limit over here. So we have London reading Oxford. The Reading, I believe, right? We've got all these lands as intended. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Where are... Oh, that's right. Iceland. We have all of Iceland. Well, I'm probably going to hold on to Iceland until my son becomes of age. And then I'll give him Iceland. That, that seems to be the route I've been taking, right? Oh, wait, no, this is deer. So I would give it to my grandson. As soon as he becomes of age. We could make the capital London now. I mean, these these are really strong counties, and I am remiss to give them away. I mean, I could give away Oxford. But what is the amount? Can I can I just see what the amount of levies it could be? Because that would that would be lovely if it. Like, give me the total number here, then put minus 100% because above domain limit. That way I can determine which ones I want to give away. Right now, I can't do that. Is it? Is it in here? Yeah, it does. It shows... Oh, no. No, it just shows zero. That kind of sucks. The nice thing is this is all absolute control. Hmm. 
We can give away one territory in Iceland. I don't see any problem with that. Let's do that. Uh, 524, 327, 327. Yeah, let's give away uh, Husavik. So let's do this to... Your son and ward. Adult. Male. Not a ruler. Um, Anrak, it'll make you uh, feudal. And Torison. We know where these places are. Oh, okay, that's all the way over there. It's all the way over here. This guy might just be a good one. He's intimidated by me, but he's temperate, or content, temperate, and impatient. So maybe we just drop him here. Uthiel? Ragnarsson? Yeah, he is. He's definitely diligent. Patient and shy, though. I mean, I could, I could give him, I could actually give him Iceland, and let, and basically, that might actually not be a bad thing. Give my, give my son, is it, what is that? That's just like, yeah, it's my 19-year-old son. Well, first let's get him married. Oh, my niece, good. Let's do this by age. And we'll choose, how old is he? He's 19. Um, let's do age difference five. To take a look at some of these uh, younger pups. <laughs> Son of Harold Hadrada. Did you see that? That we just saw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on board. Come on in. Oh, we don't have enough prestige. We have to get a ton of prestige, guys. Which can be easily done by creating any of the 5 million titles I can create. I think I can actually hold a bunch of titles. Um, no, I can't hold any more Jarldoms. But... We can give some away. In fact, maybe we just do that. Maybe we do that. Do, should we just give away the Duchy of Iceland to my son? And then we'll worry about Essex and Wessex and Sussex and whatever hell we're gonna we're about to take right now. Because we're going to do... Um, we can't do it right now, but we will do a kingdom invasion. Oh, a peasant uprising? Oh, that's... that's not, never mind. Yeah, let's give away Iceland. It stays in the family, as it has. Okay, so son will get this. So we're two now below. Hold on. <coughs> so he is a... Uh, he's a vassal. You know? I'll take it. Find him a quick little spouse. Someone he can make some children with. I'm not gonna... Ma my niece, man. That's weird. Here you go. Pound's daughter. Do that one. We'll get him hitched right now. No, it's a proposal. Okay, so we go down stewardship, I think. I think we'll do stewardship. Um, which one do we go down? 
I mean, we could do learning, but like I said, I just kind of want this character to just be a stand-in character and finish up the finish up getting our titles, and then I'll have Deer be the one that completes our titles thirty years. Architect might not be bad. Golden Obligations is pretty nice for uh, for demand payment for hooks, but Architect I think is the way to go here. Well, we have so much money, Simmer. Take a look, man. We have 2,700. I'm not hurting for money. So I'm not really worried about going down some of these. Yeah, maybe Architect is just where to go. Vassal tax contribution. Uh, men at arms maintenance per dread, which is kind of cool. Monthly income while at war. Stored subjects. Make your subjects like you, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, because I want to just do it on some buildings. I don't think I'm having much... I don't think I have a, a problem with my... Let's look at my vassals and see where I'm at. And the majority of people... Why is it towards the kingdom of... Oh, I remember. The majority of people like me? That's kind of good. Let's have this guy switch to internal affairs or domestic affairs. That'll help out even more. And we should probably host a feast. What's my personal de deity? No, 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 no. Probably Ulier again. Thor is also nice. <clears throat> Maybe we go Ulir. That's a good point, Anrak. Move and speed and pro I mean, I so this the nice thing about this is this will this will compound, this will stack with winter soldier. Advantage in provinces affected by winter plus six, movement speed in provinces affected by winter plus twenty-five. So plus 75% and then night advantage in provinces affected by winners plus two. So that's a pretty cool combination. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Let's do this. Let's go domain focus. Domain. Let's go domain focus. Wrong with me today. Uh, what was this one? Enemy agent acceptance minus five. Stewardship. Courting your guest opinion plus. Ooh. I wish that was court. Like 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 a uh, 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 vassal opinion, because then I would go duty focus. Let's just do this one for now. We won't have to worry about any of the domains we're about to get. But do we do Thor or do we do Thor or Ulir, guys? Thor will put me at twenty prowess, old age minus six. God damn, dude! Old age kicks in at fifty. Uh, it kicks in at forty-five. So it looks like I think it's it's one reduction per uh, per year. Toy. Techers wants Thor. Anyone else? Anyone else have an opinion here? Ulir gets our uh, stacks with our Winter Soldier. We just did Ulir a ton, so let's go with Winter so with uh, with with uh, Thor. What's up, Ionis? Oh, this will cost, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Paris. Have a good one, man. Always good to see you. Swinging in with the first donation of the day at $5. Have a good one, brother. Are we doing Odin right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is four. Okay, so... I think that's pretty much everything, right? Do we do this little, uh... Save. Thank you for the donation. I think we give this a shot. Lesson's leaving too? Oh, no. To the death. This guy is... This guy is... This guy's a thorn in my side. 
No, I think to the death. Let's do it. Trial by combat. Let's summon our armies too. Ooh. Formalities are brief. We all know why we're here. And we're long past the point of talking. Weapons are handed out in our retinues retreat. May the best man win. Single combat king right. Oh, do I just took my shirt off and just like <laughs> um, Simmer, we have to still wait for this, dude. It is so annoying. Actually, I think we need city planning. It's even worse. Oh, Revenger are trying to get me to get a pizza today. 50 Norwegian Kronu from the big Revenger. Thank you very much, man. For a few brief moments, Yarbjorn and I pace in lazy half circles, each watching for an opening. I heft my axe ready to defend myself while he clutches his axe from me to hand. Only one of us is walking away from here today, and I intend it to be me. With a sudden twitch, our bout begins. <clears throat> well aware that he is utterly outmatched, Bjorn hurls himself at me boldly, forcing me backwards with all the desperation of the doomed. What's his So we're both 56. Oh no, I'm 54. I just have stronger nipples. Um, so, better men than you have died trying to break my guard. Strict guard, you focus entirely on fending off Bjorn. Low increase to your likelihood of success and no increase to your, to your injury. Has happened. Very high increase to his likelihood of success and a high increase to risk of injury. Strike, parry, repost. High increase to your likelihood of success. Medium to risk of injury. And then taste silver, knave. I lose 20 gold. And medium increase to likelihood of success. No increase to injury. You gain chest because you're just. And Bjorn gains 20 gold. Um, I think strike, parry, repost, right? The red mist comes. Let axes, splinter, and bones break. Thank you very much, Piglet. Holy shit, man. Drop it in 500 Swedish Kronu. The big one. The massive. I think that's the biggest donation of the week again. It's, it's just typical Piglet, you know? He's just so badass. Coming in with the... Coming in with the, the, the big Swedish Kronus on me. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. Alright, parry it is. I leap into action, launching a flurry of quick slashes, driving myself hard against Bjorn's guard, wearing him down with each expertly timed strike. Before I know it, Bjorn is somehow inside my guard, his axe speeding towards my heart. It's only by the narrowest of margins that I dodge backwards. Whew. My form is good, with only small errors, and Bjorn's stance is formidable. I have yet to open up my opponent's guard at all, and see no way yet to claim victory. So, I can do this. Which doesn't help me at all. Um, I'll show you how I heft my how I heft an axe. <clears throat> Medium increase to likelihood of success chance with a low increase to inj injury. Better men have died. Okay, that one's not gonna happen. So this is I think this is the way we go. This one doesn't seem worth it at all. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with this one. I'll show you how I have to next. So I'm watching uh, Last Kingdom, and I just finished um, season four, season three, whatever one's the one before the last one. And you guys know Canute, Canute Bloodaxe in that in that show. That's the character for Valhalla. It's the same voice actor, which is weird because in the show he's an ass, right? He's he's really mean. And he's conniving, and he's and, he, and he's trying to like undermine everything. He's like, you better. But in Assassin's Creed, he's a he's Assassin's Creed guy, right? He's the best. He's cool. He's great. Um, so every time that every time he speaks, I'm like, why is he being so mean right now? <laughs> so uh, my axe flows around Bjorn like water, each strike chaining fluidly into the next. A series of perfectly timed attacks. Govern me, scum. <laughs> <laughs> screams my opponent whirling his axe furiously at around and near me my form is good with only small errors and Bjorn's stance is formidable I get to open up my opponent's guard at all and see no way yet to claim victory yep suck it happened so strike parry repost again 
This increases high and medium, or that's the best you've got, you can't even hit me. Tire opponent. Playing defensively for a time, you allow Bjorn to tire himself while you stay fresh. It becomes harder to injure your myself, and a low increase to your likelihood of success. Or, Taste Silver Knave, which medium increase your likelihood of success, and uh, no risk to injury. I think Govern Me is his thing. Yeah, Govern Me is his uh, his thing, his, uh, his, cal his house motto. Strike Parry Repost. Or do we go this to try and tire him out, or do we go to Taste Silver? I think Strike Parry Repost again is the best way to go. He'd already be dead if this was Uhtred. We made this. We made the square. And now we will fight. I will bash you with my shield, Ragnar. Strike it is, my dudes. I leap into action, launching a flurry of quick slashes. Yet again, all the same exact thing. My form is excellent. His is formidable. No break in the guard. Okay, so. Surprise attack. You attack from an unexpected angle. So there's a 33% chance for each one of these. High increase to likelihood of success and medium increase to, wound, to, to injury. Better men than you have died. I'll show you how I have to nax. I need to get some offense in for sure. I think confident attack is the way to go. Surprise attack could be okay, but I'm risking... There's a 33% chance there's a low increase to my likelihood of success and a medium uh, risk to injury on all three of them. <clears throat> I don't think it does. We'll take a look. Let's try. Yeah, it doesn't seem to affect those. After that axe, let's do it. A single combat victory. Confidence is half of any fight, and I throw out fluidly quick slashes with all the confidence of the seasoned expert. When I judge the time to be right, I switch up my pattern with a surprise side swipe that takes Bjorn right in the belly. The strike hurls my foe backwards, something red and vital looking sliding limply out of the new hole as he topples to the ground. I approach him with caution, but it soon becomes clear that shock is setting in. Taking a moment to kick away his axe just in case, I prepare to put Bjorn out of his misery. Goodbye, Jarl Bjorn. Wabam! The cunt has been kicked. Yeah, touche. Good, good call, uh, uh, outpost. So now a child fights a, fights a war. And you can see that their ability here just plummeted. I did. I denied him Valhalla. Like I kicked, I kicked his axe away. He would not have it. The funny thing is, though. Actually, I shouldn't even get involved in this, right? So this is. Yeah, I'm. I'm not even gonna get involved. <clears throat> Sarsante, what's up, man? So, so let's just take a look at this here. So this is the Uplander Conquest, which is my territory of uh, Sodermenland, which is his territory. We want this to go through, right? Am I, am I wrong here in thinking this? This is my vassal in your realm. Yeah, so I don't want any part of this. I should have... Maybe I should have even killed him. Victory. Justice is served. Yeah, so let's get down here. All right, lots of alliances formed. Son's getting married. Oh, we should marry my daughters. My daughters need tons of marriages going on. Y'all dire. Make that alliance. A lot of family members can get married. So let's do this. Let's, let's make some good... Ooh, oh, nephew. England is not yet under my grasp, but it soon, it soon shall be. So, she is intelligent. So let's try and choose someone to bring into the family. By age. And we will do matrilineal. 
Nope, that's not what I said. My age, please. She's 26. This is this is looking promising right here. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this guy. <laughs> so that guy will come into our house. She'll lose a little bit of renown, but that's fine. He has a lot of oh man, he would make a great diplomat. So we can land this guy too and have him convert. This is a good dude. Let me actually see something though. Ooh. I think it might be better poised. He's 27. I think it's I think it's better with this with this one. I know I, I purposely have that on there, Simmer. <clears throat> I think maybe we do that instead. Because then it's genius and Herculean together with Hale. So that's I kinda like that. Yeah, we'll do that one. Oops. There's a lot of like really good badass ones here too. Like look at this guy. What's up, Gregor? Nephew and vassal. They're good. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But we'll see how it goes. Matrilineal, he'll come into our house, which is good. Good. Good, 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 good. Everything's good. Making that happen. Making my way downtown. Okay, so that one's done. Now her. Do the age. Oh. Yeah, Flesson, I, I was hoping for 1.510, but what you were saying is it's not really ready yet, right? Uh, that's the sound from the... Uh, that's the... The music from the soundtrack. The soundtrack in this game is is great. This, the which which nephew? The soundtrack for Stellaris is amazing, and I cannot. Guys, we're going to be playing that next week, and I'm very stoked. I was playing it all yesterday. <clears throat> oh, why did I thought? Why did I think she did? Yeah, this one can be an alliance. Good call. So, I would like to do the alliance with Alba. Estonia. We could ally with Russia. Myars here. I don't see Alba on this list, surprisingly enough. This is my brother. Uh, GM, I played it a long time ago. I have not tried the new one now, though. So let's take a look over here at Russia. How's Russia doing? Russia's looking big. Russia's looking girthy. Russia's going to lose some land. <clears throat> and how's this one going? Okay. Hmm. Kingdom of Vladimir, huh? Yev is okay. We can do it. We can do it through this. Oh Jesus! Actually, I think that I think some of these characters actually just recently got married. Okay, and married, arranged marriage. I think I've got grandson here. I don't have any sons. It looks like.
Barbara. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't marry my son to her. No, I don't really need them to call me out to war. I'm looking at them to shore up my borders so they don't attack me, actually. That's why I wanted to do alliance with Alba. Yeah, but I guess not. I mean, sometimes faith is definitely a restrictive, pro a restrictive portion of that. But I wanted to see if we could kind of... So we got her taken care of. I guess there's nothing really... There's nothing really... There's no real positive, strong... Alliance powers here. I could do internally, which is not a bad idea, just to kind of keep, um, again, some border gore kind of under control and I can help out. Good call, Sars Sarsante. That might be the way we go. Because I don't necessarily want to go fight any of these out here. Estonia. I mean, the Rura kids would be cool to jump into, but nothing overly beneficial there. I, I think this one might actually be pretty good, though. Because this is, I think, that's the primary heir. And, I mean, he's super young. Like, well, actually, he's, yeah, he's young. Um, but, keeping this guy happy is going to be actually pretty important. No. I think that's actually not a bad call. Do my daughter that is like got really nothing and it keeps his I mean yeah that could happen but there is a risk of inbreeding but I mean it's not any character I'm going to control no uh, Total Warhammer you cannot or techers you cannot do the uh Vanilla Stellaris, because we're going to be playing the new mod, Gregor. But, we, or the new mod, the new DLC. Yeah, I mean, this isn't really, this is just really to make an alliance. It's not that much of a concern. They're just, they're just kissing cousins, right? Let them, let them have some fun. Let them roll around the incest. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Because I don't really want to get pulled into, like, anywhere else. I, I want to finish what I'm doing. Um, oh, good lord, a leper. Uh, maybe I just make her, allow her to marry on her. Hey, it's going to be a rough road for you. Um, Bye-bye. Okay, my daughter here, my scald. I want someone primo. So let's go inheritable traits yet again. Let's sort this by age. I mean, some of these are pretty sweet. Ted, I was gonna do Bannerlord, but I'm trying to finish this campaign before the um before the new Stellaris DLC comes out. So we wanted to, I wanted to get this completed as AS, ASAP. I'm not going to marry my nephew. I mean, this guy's nine and she's 16. I mean, it, it kind of, it might be worth it though. And also, we didn't get a new, we didn't get 1.510, and that was kind of like the big thing I was waiting for. Yeah, we'll just do that. I know, I know she's older, but it's fine. Yeah, she'll have to wait seven years, and it is what it is, but... Ooh! I should have done that. I should have done it with her. Can't I overwrite that? <laughs> I 
I should. I, I can break the patrol though, right? I think the hardest one to get into the bloodline is beautiful. That seems to be the one that's like damn near impossible to like really secure. Um, it's not as prevalent as the other ones. Got so many goddamn daughters here and sons and everything. Look at this guy. He's just kind of like a whatever. Yeah, I mean, we could find her someone else. Because, so, this one, she's nine years old and so is that other kid. So, Genius, Hale, and Herculean again. Herculean again. So, let's do this. What's that just happened? Nice, good. You lost that war? Good. We'll do Cot over there. Okay, that and that. Okay, so let's do you two. Okay, um, you. What's wrong with you? You've been a dick. Do a murder on you. Uh, what were you talking about? Outpost? Oh, 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 beautiful. Got you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's break this patrol, though, actually. Sorry, sorry, everyone. I'm going to fix it in a second here. Then back to this. Now do it. I don't, maybe, maybe they won't take it anymore. Worked. The youngest son can't marry a daughter of Alba, it looks like. We'll try. Seems to be far less female candidates. <laughs> far, far less. So her, though, I need to find another... Ugh. Marriage Simulator. Not a bad call, Anrak. Do this one. I mean, she's my daughter in Scald, so she's going to be kind of staying in that position. That's just, he's 34, which shouldn't really matter. I mean, fertility increases because he's handsome, and that kind of keeps it in the bloodline here a little bit. Unfortunately, a lot of people are related to me. You know, such is the way of Uhtred. <clears throat> yeah, I think we gotta go with a few here. But I don't really want to. I don't want to do this guy. Maybe we go with, uh, we could go with Lucas here. Or Marthen, who's 31. Or do we go to, to bed rich here? <clears throat> what do you guys think? We'll do this. We'll finally be able to jump back into this stuff and start conquering crap. It was, like, it was almost an hour of dealing with all the, the kind of little succession issues. Yeah, I'm down with that. Let's 
get it done. All right, so. Now you're over here. Cool. Yeah, sure, whatever it takes, man, just disband. <laughs> our armies are disbanded. This is gonna go through, want this to go through. But this is the real, what is going on here? You're being raided. You're being raided by my own lands. I love it. I love it. They're in a war with who? Wait. I thought it said Rolo. I was like, oh shit. Attackers. Alba, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Lower Silesia. Damn. Okay, so let's do this. So we can't do a kingdom invasion just yet. I just forgot. Forgot about that. Look at my guy, he just threw away the hat. <laughs> Let's create instead. Things okay, so we can give away. Where is this? Where is. Who has skein? He does. It's this. Mecklenburg. That is a sick looking. Oh, that is cool looking. He's got a lot of that land. That would kind of empower him a little bit. Create that title. Grant title. He's a he's my uh, spy master too. That'll make him love me. Empowers him a little bit, and he'll hopefully now take the rest of that. Okay, Lancaster, Norland. Lancaster, I think, has got... It doesn't really have any... Got this guy. But I don't want them to get in a tizzy with each other. <clears throat> why, do you, why do you not like me? No? Didn't think so. Well, if I give it... If I make him the Duke of Lancaster and give him Derby, he might grab this on his own. Where's Norland? He's right there. Norland might be good to give to... Him. I'm good, Ian. How are you doing, dude? That. Over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's make that. Give it to him. And this is just so we have enough to... Um, do a do an invasion here. Your no. Oh, I created the wrong one. God damn it! Oh, looks so like we're gonna give away that one too. <laughs> okay, make that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Grant titles. I'm oh, good, Ian. How are you, brother? There we go. And this is also making these guys happy. Populous, huh? Little shits. Maybe we make... Hmm. I could make a duke over here and transfer these vassals that are problem vassals. So this vassal 
That actually seems to be okay. He's a child, that's why I can't. A her, him, her. So, I could make a vassal in London, but I don't want to take London. I, I don't want to leave, I don't want to lose London. Yeah, big surprise English Saxons don't like me, right? I gotta get rid of this title though. Nor He's got almost all of them. I gotta just do it. He'll also like me. You and I are not getting married. <laughs> Where's she? Ah, Normandy. <gasps> what happened to Normandy? No. The Normans were taken over by West Francia. It's an outrage. So this, we're almost there. Oh, we can do the Northern Isles for sure. Which one of these is the strongest one? Okay, champion. Vassal. Oh, we'll give it to this guy. He's 45, and he's got an air lined up. 13. That's dangerous. Okay, so we will make the Northern Isles. Doing this is kind of dangerous, by the way. I'm, I shouldn't really be doing a ton of these. This, right? Good, good. Okay. Because if you create too many duchies and you make too many strong vassals, and if those vassals don't like you, it can really work against you very fast. So, but, let's do this. Invade this kingdom and take England. What? Oh, we have to be exalted among men. I forgot. Mmm. So let's try and get some war. What, what, what is this? What's, what's going on here? Liberty War, huh? That's interesting. Well, let them do their thing. We could do a conquest on Alba. And the only reason to do this is just to gain notoriety. I could subjugate them. That might not be a bad call. Because I can't do a subjugation war here. I can only invade kingdom. What's up, Ian Bruce? But if we subjugate Alba, we're going to get all this. So that could be a first, like, that could be a pretty first crippling move here. Um, and then just take this guy out, to be honest. What's up, Sean? That that seemed like a good uh, that seemed like a good move, guys. Be wary of the sub. What's the sub? I'm a little worried about these guys, to be totally honest, though. Which one of you has the most military? Eight twenty-two, nine twenty. Okay, so you. Uh, 
It's 100 gold, but let's just get this started on the right track. Do that. Try and reduce this a little bit. Alex, I'm sorry, man. We wanted to, we, we have to get this uh, campaign knocked out before the Stellaris uh, thing happens. Oh, subjugate. I gotcha. <clears throat> well, yeah, there's a lot of different... Yeah, it's going to be a pretty wild land if I take it. You know, actually kind of a good point there, Gazzles. I'll abandon that and I'll work on... I'll work on building up my my vassals that I know I can are like in good line with me. Didn't I just make you a vassal? No, but we should definitely get you happy. Um, sway. Is there anyone here that's kind of like a major player? Gift. Yeah, we'll, we'll put positive. That's true, Guinness. That's very true. We could also do some early raiding. That's not a bad call either. And just go raid Kent, because we don't have an alliance with them. All right, that's what we're going to do. Pop it over here. Let's have some fun. Uhtred, Uhtred, and Uhtred Ragnar must have a good time. Oh, we're at war. We can't raid. I'm so stupid. Uh, they're putting a whole new DLC out that changes, like, kind of the way that the geopolitical climate works in the game. Mm. Could do this one. But, see, the problem with the skein is it's too divided. Everyone's got one piece of land, so it's not good. What county Stonehenge is in? I'll show you. Stone I'll show you. It's right here. Wiltshire. Well, I'm at a little bit of a loss, guys. Maybe we do. I'm going to do this war real quick. Oh, that's really. This is two different counties. Ugh, that's annoying. What's up, Pierce? Attack Ulster. Smash out Ulster. What's up, Ross? I mean, this is an option. Take out part of this. This is like, this place is so like divided across so much bullshit, it sucks. Brittany's up in this butt. Guys, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm not sure what to do. I could do this duchy. I, this is not even a duchy though. This is two different locations. Well, we could do this. Ulster, not Ulster. Ah. I've changed my kingdom name? No, it just does that. It does that. Let's just let this kind of... Let's let some stuff kind of... Settle here. The smell is completely unbearable. Oh god, this guy with his... With his, uh... His wild thing. My son-in-law comes in with a fucking pelt on his pelt on his back. Did that? It's it's all right. We'll do that. It's gonna happen. Upon the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son Guthmunder what he thought. So he becomes just, cynical, or temperate. I think just is a good one. We can't do a subjugate war in England. I wish we could. See? Sweet hat. Like that one? Queen, pretty Queen Asla. We've been taking prisoner. What's your queen of? Where? Oh, that's right. 
in here. We could, we could help out with this. Um, this guy seems so hell bent on becoming on landing himself. I take a duchy out of England, then grab some whales and some other stuff in, like, Ireland or somewhere, then that will all be under you when you make the empire. Not a bad call. I mean, Suthrayar is... I can't even offer vassalization, because they're so huge. But they're weak, which is unfortunate. Raid the Pope? We, we have to wait for these wars to go... Oh, no! He just went from winning to losing, because he just got captured. Idiot. So be it. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, Outpost. I didn't mean to didn't mean to gloss over that. I have only begun. Let me see what you said there, dude. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. We can take... I mean, should we do Kent and be the subject of a bunch of holy wars? Or do we go for Wessex and just take out the capital? Well, quote-unquote the capital. Did we not get her a wife? Or a husband? Age. One in the twenties. I thought we did. I thought we got the guy with, uh, with, with beautiful or something like that. Poutina? Poutine? Martin. It's just this guy. Chased. That's not good. And vengeful. Idiot. An idiot! We'll go with... Martin here. Uhtred passed away, Ross, just at the end of last episode. Dedicated to the blot? I don't think I can, Guinness. I think since he's a since he's a landed head of state, I can't. So let me look at this donation. Yo, just a tip to say I love your job in I'm new to a Crusader King series and learned everything from your videos. Keep up the good work, dude. Greetings from Brazil. Thank you very much, Dalcian. I appreciate that, man. Five dollar donation coming in from Brazile down south. Thank you, my man. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad. I, you know, I think that's probably one of my favorite things. Is like I was so frustrated playing Crusader Kings two that I'm like, how the fuck could anyone like this game? This game is just stupid. It's hard. I hate it. Um, but I ended up to like I ended up growing to really like it through Crusader Kings three because of just the increase in AI or not uh, UI, the just the accessibility of the game is just so much better. Of course, there's a lot of things missing, right? Like, um, ooh, small one. Um, like mercy and conquest and like, yeah, do it, dude. Um, I I wish that. A lot of stuff that that came in other portions of the DLCs for CK2 were in this, but they will come in due time. Um, and I can't wait. Like honestly, the the, the next big like expansion expansion is going to be so huge. And I'm really stoked to have fun with. Um, might as well just have some fun with the Holy Order. 2500. Yum's Vikinga, that's the Grand Master.
and I'm excited to really jump into to Stellaris because to Sol Stellaris, I think, um, I think a lot of people are intimidated by Stellaris, but it is I find it even easier to break into than Crusader uh, uh, Three. I don't know when 1.5.10 is coming out, Ian. I thought it was going to be this week, and I'm kind of bummed that it's not. Let's get everyone. Ooh, a scheme at court, eh? I'm going to stop the villain behind this. Murder Bjork. Who would mur murder Bjork? My sister. Okay, so do that. And I'm actually going to put him here. Station these besiegers. Reorganize. I hope it is, Rubinger. I'm really, really stoked to, like, do history time talking about the, um, Count Tybalt, huh? To talk about the rise of Islam is, is a lot of fun. It's really interesting. Like, the, oh god, what, what's the conflict? The conflict with Rome, with, with the Eastern Roman Empire, uh, with, I'm sorry, Byzantine Empire, wherein they march across the desert to go behind the Roman army to attack them um, and no one could ever no one expected a, a invasion from the angle the uh, Muslims took they took over over the top of Saudi Arabia um, by Mesopotamia and they went through the desert and they ate their camels they, they that's how they, they did it by it allowed them to actually be satiated and not be it's under siege what the fuck that's okay. And not be exhausted from the fight. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Exhausted from the fight, and the Romans didn't expect it, and the Romans got completely routed. Just completely ripped through them. <clears throat> Alright, Leviathan. It behooves a king to spend time at sea with the salty air in his face and a fine vessel beneath his feet. Today sees my personal craft and small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. The short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court. When we spot it, a distant plume of water followed by a small island of wine-dark flesh rolling out of the waves. The greatest beast of all the deeps. A whale. <laughs> Floki be like, <laughs> Ivar. Not yet, Daniel Luck. Uh, it's pissing me off, man. So, I think we get the harpoons, guys. Let the others handle it? No. A creature of fearsome majesty, leave it. The whale goes free. You gain some... No, 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 no. Get the harpoons. Get the harpoons. This is Ragnar here. 71% chance. Oh! -ho! The beast escapes you. Arr! <laughs> I don't know why it's a pirate, but I'd be upset at two. Mmm, that's where you are. I cannot wait to go smash into you with my army. Okay, so this should be this guy. Is my son? Where's my son? Out there being a badass. Look at him. Look at him. It's a spitting image of success. <laughs> I know we are right now, Ian. But it's okay. Can't really do anything about this. It's my own, it's my own vassal. I, I wish I could just leave this war. I really think that they have, they should, you should be queried and say, hey, you haven't contributed, and then just have the option to leave the war. Because the AI can do it without any cause or effect. Jormungdir, the, uh, the world serpent? More than likely, man. Another scheme at court, huh? Alright, well... At least we're exposing all these things. Just 
Dropping schemes. Things are going pretty good, pretty well. Who are we swaying? This little shit. A child of my dynasty! Ah! Good Norse. You know what? After family member. Oh, I thought it was going to be... I thought it was going to be Uhtred, but let's continue the tradition of naming things after after fathers. Uh, no, this is just the the kingdom of Norway. Uh, what someone explained this to me, right? That uh, Nor Nor it's Norayer, and that. It's like the the old name for Norway, like the, the Norway of the old way or something like that, as, as someone was explaining. If someone could please explain it to me again, because I have a small brain. Aha, smashing into these guys. Yeah, just, just crippling. If we can take him prisoner right now, we don't even have to finish that siege. Damn, we crushed it. Took the Earl of Dorset. So what we actually might do here is, this is the Earl of Dorset. And where are you the Earl of? Surrey? So I think way, way to the north, way of the north, northern road, the northern road. So is, it's, it is a G sound. So Norreger, or is it Norreger, or is it Norreger? You mean Sarsante, the one I just accidentally said and thought in my head? Hmm. Uh, this place is... So, Kiev, what it starts off as, in like, the Norwegian word for it, is very dangerous to say on YouTube. Very dangerous to say on YouTube. And I did not know. <laughs> and I almost made that mistake. So, these prisoners we just captured, this one... We're going to kill him. And I'm going to... I'll show you why. Oh, it'll go to her, huh? Alright, Ian Bruce, have a good one, brother. You can give me money. We'll do these guys with the bloat. The reason I was going to kill this guy is... I was hoping that the title would then pass to Alfred... Uh, Alfred here. And in that case, when I conquer it, I would get it. Instead, I have to deal with this guy now. So we're going to get a weak hook on him to convert him. Portsmouth. I guess we could go. White is two. Uh, yeah, we'll go to white. White's gonna be take over. Or you know what? No, that's level one castle. Do that. I don't think I, she's not a valuable prisoner, right? No. We shall ransom. Who are these people? Who are these people to you? They're your sister and your sister. Your sister is a daughter? She's spindly. She dizzies and dazzies around the court. I won't have it. Dude, spindly is a genital, congenital terrible trait. Who has it in your bloodline here, man? Oh, the queen mother did. She's passed spindly down to everyone. Their cursed line. No, I'm not, not going to take that as a concubine, put spindly in my my pristine Uhtred bloodline of Uhtredson. Can't I just make allow her to marry? She's going to have to find her own spouse. I, I, I don't want that evil. 
<gasps> Good God. She's a cursed child. <laughs> The curse of death has fallen upon my court. A case of smallpox has been discovered. My poor daughter, who already has leprosy, is fighting for her life. The taint possessing her flesh is a danger to us all. While she remains afflicted, no life or court is safe. The physician wants to know how my daughter should be treated. Well, <laughs> Ooh. drastic measures it is. Dude, she looks terrible. Dude, she is like seeping. Oh my god. <laughs> There will be no treatment. <laughs> She's fine? Yeah. Uh -uh. Disastrous treatment. As I near Hafthir's chamber, I hear a horrifying scream, barely human and full of pain. Like, ah! Uh, I burst into the room only to find Hafthir. Half. Hafrithir. Uh, collapsed in a heap on the floor, covered in blood. The abhorrent physician is standing in the corner. Why is this my physician? That's not my physician. That's my physician. I don't know what's going on here. Who is this? Who is this woman? Who is... What are you? <laughs> is she in someone else's court? At your court? Isn't 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 shashaka a, a a a type of dish? It's just a courtier, yeah. I mean, like, what what was she doing? She's a med student, yeah. She's definitely like in her residency. Yeah, man. Uh, we knew what was going on. Uh, zippity doo dah. Oh my god, she is reduced disease symptoms. I, th n none of this makes sense. Does anyone see what's going on here? Oh, so she got sick at the beginning of the year. No, this was this. 925. Botched disease treatment. I dude, this is this is confusing me. She's she's somehow okay. Somehow okay. I'm not gonna take a concubine, damn it. Yeah, witchcraft is a bunch of tomfoolery, you know? Oh no! She died. Sucks. Uh, we will remember her. The outbreak of smallpox, which has ravaged my court, is finally over. <laughs> its victims have all either recovered or departed from this world. My court physician. This is not my court physician. What the hell is going on with that? Saraka ensures me that all bodies have been properly disposed of. Yet the road to recovery is long. We have lost my daughter and many others. Life goes on and the scars remain. Oh, this little guy. He recovered? It doesn't say he recovered. I don't know. See, it says fire court dismiss. Fire court physician. 
I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. This is so weird. Alright, well, we're just gonna keep playing it by ear, I suppose. The court tab shows her as the physician. That doesn't make any sense, man. I mean, she's the Rick's Gothi, too, but that doesn't matter. That was the same thing last time. I mean, I've similar. I've had it happen before without any issue. What the hell is going on? I might reload the autosave to see if that fixes this. But this isn't making this isn't making any sense. Like it says we defeated smallpox and now there's more smallpox. Okay, for a week all's well until I notice the first red spots in my mouth. Well, I, we assigned her as the uh, the court physician, Piglet. Yeah, we might have to do that. So here, let's try this. Uh, a little brighter. Excellent work, Bjork. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little brighter. I mean... We seem to be okay? Yeah, that Shoshaka is in another court. She's not in my court, which is really weird. Okay, her spouse died. Mysterious circumstance. He was murdered, dude. Sudislav the Winter Knight was murdered. How fucking dare this happen? Did you put on a mod that makes your guys get court docs? Yeah. Maybe that maybe that's the problem. Hmm. Yo, what up, uh, go off juice? Let me see. Let me try something real quick. That's a good point, uh, outpost. Okay, let's try something real quick. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shut that off because I I use that mod because it's supposed to pretty much protect a lot of the AI from not getting um, court doctors and those court doctors from basically having just a bunch of people die because they didn't have their wounds uh, treated. Okay, so I've disabled that. Maybe that was what was causing it.
It could be the minor, minor titles mod, but the minor titles mod isn't conflicting with what's going on. Because she's a major title, Rick Scolfi, and she's a court physician, major title. That other character wasn't even in my court. So let's load up that autosave. That's weird, man. Okay. Wars. Collections. Concubine. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, there we go. Finish that. That's going down. This guy's got that guy there. Okay, good. Let's see what happens now. Hey, I'm living a child. Okay. Holy crap, look at this dude. Oof. Yeah, guys, if you haven't, please make sure you're liking the stream. It does help me out a ton. Oh, Christ, what happened? Prisoners taken in sieges. Okay, okay, all right, all right. That's a bald, okay. I'm okay to try that. Aha! Aha! What the hell are you doing here? That fixed it. Yeah, it's, it's way too early. It's like 400 years too early, bastard. <laughs> Certainly my son-in-law, Yaroslav, is scheming against my courtier, Kolbheim. I was an agent in the murder of the scheme against Kolbheim and Ivering. Well, accused, I will not accuse, okay. Yaroslav, come on, Bratan, do not make these things happen, okay? You make it hard for both of us. Yeah, the AI assigned like two over it. It's kind of weird. Yaroslav, you uh, make me very upset. No, I want. Is that your main heir? Yes, it is. Perfect. So this is what I want. I want you to be converted. Anrak, I, I was, it's, I was, I did this. <laughs> I brought all these people to my court. I should try converting them. Court. Can have converted. Yay! Converted. Would have ate that kid. Good God, Sean. Converted. Yaroslav, you are a problem. We must fix. In time. My nephew hates me. <laughs> In Russia, murder is not scheme, it's friendly exchange. I'm sure you don't suck, man. It's just 
No, can we get... I want her out of my court. I mean, she's actually not that bad. You can breathe. I'm sure you don't suck, man. It's just, it's just hard. You kind of have to just play a bunch and, and fuck up a ton. Then, then, it's all okay. I'm banished for botching everything, man. That's so weird. The game, like, did not like that. Hi! Uh, is this mysterious circumstances? Sure is. That's just a piss. Yeah, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it! We're gonna get it! 50? Okay. That guy was a, a tank, too. Lennox. Have any damn. Can we just get a good Norse person in the in, up in here? I mean, all these people from all these different. You know, just, let's, just, let's just change it. Let's just, just culture. Where's the culture? Where's culture? Norse. I just want Norse. Just good Norse breeding stock. 11 years older? That is, that is a substantial jump. I don't think they can have kids. None, yeah. Just someone who's not a piece of shit. <laughs> Here. This will do. He's even shy. It's kind of cute, right? Larry, what's up, man? I'm good. How are you, brother? You're you're in timeout. You're in timeout for your poor attitude. I sure he does have a ton of kids. I kind of don't know why I did that outpost, to be totally honest with you. <laughs> Spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> so this army is over here. We got to finish this siege 29 days. Let's switch on over to... Just... Uh, switch this to... This to... Ha! To force these. Whoa, did I, get any good, did I get any good prisoners from that? Well, bam. Hey, victory! Hey, child of my dynasty? Whoa! Hmm. Little homie, Yaroslav over here, just so happened to produce a machine. That's definitely a Ragnar right there. No, Larry, I haven't. A hero is born. Oh. Let's put a pin in this kid. Frederick cannot be the next heir, unfortunately. But he is... He is the best character I've ever seen. Yeah, flat 10 pro S. That's a really good point. Where is he? No. Good job. Uh, I need you. You're gone. So, I think I should educate him. 
Bobby. Pocket sand. My man cut his own umbilical cord. So I guess we'll see. I, I like to wait until he gets his little like first disposition to do his uh, to do his martial his education focus. But I guess I could jump him into being marshal right now. What do you guys think? Disband these armies. That takes two months. I don't care. Four months? Whatever. A prophecy is true. The Bebimba. The Bebimba has risen. Can I not usurp from you? Why can't why can you still hold this? This just makes no sense. And I will I will be his his ward. Not gonna, we're not gonna let this machine go to waste. Most importantly, gotta see if we can get a beautiful child. Can't yet. This is close. This is close. There is a chance here of inbred, but Who is this kid? Are we all Uhtred II? So it's my bro. Oh, my nephew. So that's a pretty far removal. That'd be a second cousin. Do we do this? Do we do we kind of line it up right now to, to have all three in the bloodline? Or do we wait for a beautiful? And there's no guarantee we get beautiful here, right? Let me just type in beautiful. Yeah, the 22-year-old is the best one we got. So, I could, we could go with the bloodline, kissing cousins again. They're both zero, so they're going to be the same age. A covetous gambler, a little tiny zero-year-old kid. Uh, Larry, what has been the top two or three improvements in this game? The UI, um, that that's probably the best. That's probably one of my favorite parts. Um, also, just I think it's just a lot more fluid of a game. It just makes so much better sense, to be honest. She was born off of Freya. It's kind of sick. That's a good point, Enrak. Do it now to kind of lock it down. Okay, so let's let's do that. I mean, we can get pretty right now, uh, Techers. I mean, see, pretty is on here. Oh, yeah, pretty's right here at four. But let's just do this. There's a risk, but. So let's do that. We'll just kind of wait on that. We can change it later. Um, who's Earl Alfred? Okay, you. Just be converted, buddy. You do that, you, you and I are going to be way better off, trust me. Mm, yes. That sounded more like, what's it called? Little thingy. Peon. Stop it. Oh, what? Oh, you will believe exactly what I tell you. Convert, asshole. There you go. Dick. Dude, I look like Odin. Those are father time over here. Borrow gold from Holy Order. We don't need to do that. We'll call a hunt, though. Just a feast. That might actually not be a bad idea. We can't do this because we're at war.
Thor will strike you down. And I will be the hammer. Kingdom of England needs to stop. It's just, it's got nothing left. Just fracture already. <sighs> okay. So, do we... Winchester, Dorset, White. I mean, we can we can kind of keep doing what we're doing. A bunch of Anglo-Saxons everywhere. We got to get these. Uh, Larry, there's no difficulty for the campaign. We can't play Iron Man, if that's your question. Yeah, we're, we're up there. We are up there in gold right now. So Alba is doing, what is this? It's a tyranny of King Gabriel. Maybe we just eat these guys up. And pause for a bit. Faction strength is so minimal. Take a look, Azzles. Hmm. I don't like that. Are we almost done with this sway? Good lord, it's taking forever. Oh, you drank yourself to death? Forthnir. You you are a spy master, man. Well, looks like my son's gonna get the position. Which I I, I like I said before, I hate. Finally, god damn. Raise a runestone. Okay, ma. Who did know? Ugh. Oh. Uhtred. To Uhtred. To Uhtred. Where's this? I think that might be the best one. For Hampshire. I mean, that's not bad. Middlesex. So I think the, the question is... I decided to put my runestone to the question remains where to place it. Mem memorials to family like Uhtred encourage respect and fealty. They are best placed in areas that think little of me, where I can make an example of my dedication and servitude to higher powers. So this will be an ancestral runestone which increases popular opinion. So the real question is, do we keep our... Um, do we keep our capital here? Or... Do we move it into London or Winchester? Because I can place this in Hampshire or in Middlesex, either one of these locations. So right here for London or right here for, for Winchester. So which one do we do, guys? Do we move our capital to London? Which is, I mean, extremely fortable, uh, uh, fortifiable, right? Gazzles, thank you very much, man. Drop one of a $20 donation saying, have a drink on me. Dude, I am... Get my shot next week, and I am gonna get just turned after that. I actually, I don't think I can. Well, a zero-year-old kid like a baby, you could call it that, Thor, if you're into that kind of thing. So, do we place it London or Winchester, guys? We can make it, we can't build. That's the thing. So I can make it my capital, but 
the the problem with it being um the fact that i'm tribal is i won't be able to build any see like check this out i can't construct anything because i'm a tribal government well it does make more sense reminder from like a roleplay standpoint but the point of this is that it's an ancestral runestone and it gives popular opinion i have complete control over oslo so i would never have to worry about that decisions here and i think securing the high account this makes me yeah all travel become changes to feudalism all right we'll do london we'll do Lon london also because we're kind of like we're already working on converting everything here the control is absolute which is cool and let's host Do we hold a blot? Do we finally do this bloat, which, which these guys that have been in the prison for so long, which have been meant to be killed in the bloat? Let's finally do this. Every lord and commoner. 355. Let's go, let's go big on it. Okay, so he was swayed a little bit. Let's I wanna sway some. Whoa, this gained a lot of fervor. Who's the Amethyst Knight? Oh, yeah, of course. But why are you in this? Independence faction? Dude, I will come down on you like a fucking ton of bricks, bro. This guy might be who we have to sway next. Although, swaying him is not a bad call because he's 13. When he comes of age, he'll join this faction. Alternatively, I could sway him because he's 56, he's my nephew, and he's deceitful, and I'm kind of worried about that. I mean, a gift just gets me nothing. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that, Sarsante. So let's do that, and let's do a sway here. Invite some champions. Invite some bros over to the realm. If, you know, if they lost this war, this would be a really good subjugation, but how's Suthray are doing? They're losing. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Suthray is about to change hands here. I got a king. It's me. <laughs> Suthray R is about to become the m this, these people. Are doing a pretty massive war on him. Yeah, guys, we only have 26 likes. Please, please, please make sure you're liking that uh, that the stream. It helps me out a ton, guys. It's a holy war. Ah. Oh, I can't. It's a subjugation war. Danny boy, welcome to the court with that kind of pedigree, buddy. Well, the thing here is, if Suthrayar becomes... Well, that's a lot of insular. I don't want any part of that, to be honest. Hugh, what's up, brother? One thing I don't like about the bloat is it takes a long time to go through. Come on, man. Come on, dude. You can't be doing this kind of crap. Just just go. You can I don't even need the dread. Just don't be an asshole anymore. I don't think we can make an alliance here with Brittany. Can I offer vassalage to you? Because that'd be hilarious. Okay, 
getting stuck in. There was a commotion among the children today. Bjorg was attempting to preach her fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Gothmandir intervened and did what he could to protect her. Brave. Yeah. Be a brave little boy. Yeah, they... So Normandy was... It created the Normans, as you can see. But... West Francia took them over, unfortunately. I mean, I could do a big old war on Upland. He did a subjugation war. I could then in turn do a subjugation war back and take it all over for, from him. Where do my kingdom titles do your end? I mean, I don't really want all that. I just want this. I just I don't want this blue in my land. It's hurting my eyes. Ah, here we go. Oh, a oh bad. One of the finest of sacrifices will do man and animal alike. So I know this is going to piss off a lot of my uh, Christian vassals, but that's okay. It's going to make my Satruan ones happier, and I want to do that. Oh, wow, they really don't like that. Uh, Sarsante, we kept it. We kept it. Lord of Derby, huh? What are you doing? Maybe you could jump over here. How about... Derby's... Wait a minute, Derby? Right there. Why do I care about that? I don't. Um, Hampshire. Ragnar's not dead. He's right here. He's just not in his war regalia. He's fine, though. The boy... It's good. Earl Alfred, you want I don't I don't have a role to give you, dude. You don't You wouldn't be good at anything, I don't think. Ingvar. Could be decent here. Earl Drid is my brother. My vastly younger brother. He's also a good character. Yeah, I know, without the helmet, he's hard to Hard to, it's hard to tell who he is. What are you, why are you so mad, man? You get all the goods. You get these nice territory over here. I could expand your territory if you stop. He's a pretty... Terrifying little alliance, to be honest. See, that, this is why the bloat kind of bothers me. Alright, techers. Have a good one, man. David, this is a good stream, man. We're, we're getting there. We're getting closer and closer. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very, very much for the donation. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you for the donation. I don't want to grant that vassal. It's just too much. It's too, po too much power. That's good. Gabana has won. Okay, so that happened. I can't help out with this war. I'm sorry, Sooth. I really wish I could, dude. Perhaps I could offer you a concubine in this trying time. I could give you some money. That might help you out to summon some mercenaries. You think so? He's. I mean, he's 32 and I can't even murder him. It's, it wouldn't, it just would not go through. The longest bloat in history. <clears throat> and I can't even do any of these because it'll end the bloat, I think. by combat. Just murder this little kid. Aha! Here we go. Oh, damn it. Did I not do this? I had all this time to do this. I 
Every invited such a noble at least court rank. So this guy. This my my Miscothi. There's a new character. You know, we're gonna go with uh, invited characters. Eh. Evil blaggard. I'll hold on to him in the background. Um, I went with the the invited characters outpost because I'm trying to get all my vassals in better standing. Some of these guys really are rough with me. Yeah, like he went he went from negative ten now to positive thirty four, which is very good. All my oh, way better. Look at that, almost all one hundreds now. You gotta stop being a dick. Unreformed. <laughs> Do I know what a blackguard is? Um. I couldn't tell you the definition offhand, but it fits into the 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 synonym of like nefarious knave. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Here, I'll give you the actual the actual definition is a man who behaves in a dishonorable or contemptible way. Oh, who is she? Died of old age. People are just falling like flies right now. Tax collector? It's okay. We have plenty of options here. Okay. 16 year old little boy. Mecklenburg, the Duke. He wants a council position, and he's got 18. This would make him a little less pissy with me. It's not going to really fix it, but he's on a minor council position. That kind of helps a little bit. There, there is no such thing, bastard. Of course, man. Absolutely happy to do it. Diplomacy minus six? I don't think we need that. Marshall minus six. Or fertility and seduction power scheme. Eh. What's this for? Oh shit. Oh, don't be dying here, buddy. Hmm. Call me to war. We're we're allies. So we're not at war with anyone. So let's go raiding. Um, I just want to raise only my men at arms, you know? You know what I mean? Local levies is 1300. I want my men at arms though. Let's raise everyone. Not after the last patch, Iraq. <clears throat> this. Earl Swith Swithhelm has been using his influence to push for the advancement of the independence faction. They're seeking to break free from my rule, claiming that I am not their rightful liege. 
But are not doubts with Helm's conviction, he is only human. If I convince him to curb these activities, it will make it easier for me to consolidate the power I have over my vassals. Well, this is actually a huge little ditty here. Who is he? Oh, he's this guy. <clears throat> so, Kelsey now returns the favor. Gets a weak hook. And I don't. I definitely don't want him on council. Old-fashioned flattery is good at inspiring loyalty. Arrogant or honorable men are more likely to be swayed by their flatter by flattery. He is ambitious, not arrogant or honorable. He's a rapacious paragon, though. Remind him that my interests are God's interests. Zealous men are more likely to act according to their faith. Earl Withhelm is only exercising his rights. Uh, Sean, I, I've not really played Hearts of Iron much. Hmm. He's, he, it's definitely not this one. But it could be, I could go with this. It says arrogant or honorable men. Vesper, for what, brother? For trimming my beard? Uh, for my head, I use an actual straight razor. For my beard, I have a, what's it called? I mean, I could just try old fashion flattery and see how it goes. There's nothing really to lose. It's not like it's going to trigger anything. I think that worked. Oh, going for England there, I see. Queen's Ah, I should convince him Earl has refused to leave the independence faction. Well, okay. Yeah, if it goes off, I'm not worried about it. So which one do we go with here, though? I think Architect was our, our route. Uh, building construction costs. Reduction is nice. So that might be where we go. Tax man. It still does in this patch, though, Iraq. Okay. Well, I apologize, then. I'll, I'll give it a shot next time. Negotiate that alliance, and he might pull me into that fight to help him out. Damn, this was just raided. <laughs> Where are we going? I think we go down to Cordoba. Mm, that's a tasty target. Let's go and raid it. Do we have... Well, I'm going to attack with, with me right for Cordoba. Ooh, they're about to... Oh, hell yeah, man. My nephew came to the court. Uhtred Aslugson, off Bebenbur. He's been recruited. How awesome is that? Oh, don't mind me, just raiding. Okay, so development level will change by negative 10, development progress by 80. Oh, bam. So that should put our development at five over here, I think. Oh, uh, four.
All right, Hugh, have a good one, man. Let me just kind of hit up some of this and get the spoils here. What? Related to obesity. Damn. Who did it pass to? Your tiny child? That's not going to be any. Was my cup bear? I go to him. Uh, Enric, I do. I haven't played it yet, though. I, I really want to play it. We could go for the papacy. We could raid Rome. There is a chance that this could go very poorly, though. I mean, in history, though, they raided over here. They raided Looney, and they thought it was Rome. There's so much, like, rich stuff over here we could do. I don't know, guys. What do we do? We can have a lot. This can be... Don't raid Rome with the trap. I, I imagine he'll summon up a ton of... Uh, Papal mercenaries, because he's got so much money. What's up with the uh, Byzantine Empire? Ooh, bro, they're not fighting any wars. Because we could go sack Byzantium. Oof. Or Constantinople. Wow. That faction got huge fast. So we gotta actually go back to our lands. Because that's about to be a real big issue. Alright. Uh -oh. Twenty nine months. I don't know if they'll do it or not, but it'll give me it'll give me the right to just go smash them out. The, the, the whole, all of England's about to like explode into a uh, massive civil war. So Oh well pff, I wish you had told me that, Anrak. Ooh, twins! Oh, yeah, Uhtred, for sure. Wait a minute. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> Poor gear. That's cool, I like that. Faction targeting you has disbanded. That's crazy. So we stopped and they disbanded. We were just raiding uh, uh, an Islamic faction, which they're hostile against. You would have thought they would have been all about it. You sure you don't want any help? Utreda. <laughs> that is just annoying. Mercy and Conquest is really taking some time. Ooh, don't like that. Mercy and Conquest there. Xenia. Vile Fiend. What is this? A Liberty War.
Can't join that war either? God damn. That's not good. That's a liberty war for him. Here's money. Use it as you will. I can't, like, I can't do anything. I don't, think he, I don't think he's gonna win that. I could jump into this war to kind of hamstring this guy, which might be the way to go. Just conquer this duchy. We didn't go with the Pope. Raid whose homeland? Guinness? I mean, yeah, I could raise raiders over here and raid all this, if that's what you're saying. I don't know how to help out. I don't know how to do anything with this. Not a vassal war. No. Can't do anything about that. The faction that is attacking Mercia. The head of your drop by Rome. Will do. So what am I doing here? I'm surrounding this with points. Is this is this it? Is this what I'm doing? Right on doing this. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you just jump right over here. Honest. I'll take it. This is who? Is that whole land? Ugh. It's all been raided. Yeah, I can't do anything. Aha! This hasn't, though. Good. I'll take that name. Ba bam. Oh, God. Okay, just get over here, please. Aha! Princess has lost your lost against your son. Okay, so that helped. Okay, so they're gonna be okay now. That Liberty War is gonna be fine. Catholic populists are really starting to piss me off. Oh, he got a little bit more land, Gloucester, there. Gonna, gonna be pretty big for your britches there, huh, big boy? Don't like that. Who would join this? 
Earl Alfred, Countess Christina, and Earl Swifthelm. That could be... That could be kind of worth it. I'm not, I'm not, I don't... No, no concubine for me. Yeah, you're right. Until we win this, until we can do that again. What's this? Warfare by human sacrifice. <laughs> Whoopsies. And this is for three years. months versus 16. That's ah, not that much more. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure needs... We need... Oh, no. Sunsburg. No, we, we need city planning. Is that what we're making? No, public works. God damn it. Watch. The next one's gonna be like Banis. Like, oh, great. Cool. Oh! That's a pretty good. That's probably for a war. What's that war? Just, oh, that's a pretty good chunk. About to win that. This guy's gonna get even bigger. I guess we could kind of just kill some time and. Yep. Lost that war, didn't you? My armies are raised? Where? Oops. There we go. Could do this. All right, Piglet, thanks again for coming in, man. And thank you very much for your donation you gave me earlier, dude. That was very huge of you, brother. Thank you very, very much, dude. You don't even need a you don't even need a powerful computer to play this game. It's a pretty minimal minimally invasive game which I really like. He's got that. That's your vassal? Okay, good. Bisbee is his own dukedom. Baron is kind of girthy over there. Can't you just take this guy out? That's what I want you to do. Your goals right now, Ruin. We're trying to complete the Kingdom of the North Sea, and we're not far away. We're getting there, little by little. We're getting there, piece by piece, really. Okay, now Liberty War is starting to swing in his favor, which is strong. This guy is expanding out into him, which is really good. <clears throat> I mean, we don't really have much. East Anglia is trying to take. Uh, uh, Cambridge 
from England. And I can actually kind of help out with that by raiding England and then uh, and then just sacking the hostile land. Look at Alba. Alba grew real big. So I could just subjugate Alba. <laughs> like, kill some time, subjugate Alba, bingo, bango, bongo. They've got some pretty powerful allies, though. They've got Italy and Bavaria on their side. Ooh, they're going to get pretty spicy, too. No. Stop offering me bad concubines. It's weird. So I don't think... Yeah, we didn't get that Kingdom of the North Sea title, or that, that thing happening. I agree with you, Simmer. It, it doesn't make much sense. I understand, historically speaking, like, you know, they fought back from nothing. Oh, good call. Tanya. Yeah, we're, we're pretty far away from that uh, outpost, but yeah, I get what you're saying. If I do a, um, a subjugation war on Alba, then they will, in turn, uh, will create the Empire Britannia when I die. Alfred, eat a dick. Anrak, what we're saying is the reason we don't want to take Alba is because in succession, um, what will happen is Confederate Partition will create the Empire of Britannia, which we don't want. Yeah. Yeah, and if we get the, the North Sea Empire, that, that will prevent us from getting the, the North Sea Empire, which is huge, 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 huge. We don't want that. Finish this off, please, down here. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Okay, so let's just do this. Ooh, the Vrangian Guard. Yes. Go with Tears Blessing. Come back. Even better. This might trigger this thing. Uh oh. The hysterical fiend. My spy is coming with the news. Is my court champion fighting against. Oh. You just came here. What are you doing this for? Oh, I have a truce with them. I, I can't do what I'm doing that. Pfft, I'm so stupid. Whatever. I want this. Lancaster. That. Maybe I make this guy the Duke of Lancaster. Because if I make him the Duke of Lancaster. No, maybe I make this guy the Duke of Lancaster because he's already strong. I'll give him this and Derby. It'll make him a pretty strong dude. And he'll maybe war with England to take that over. 
The truce is up for another year or so. Two years. 19 months. 19 months. Come on, baby. We still need to get Exalted Among Men before we can do a... Yeah, we need to be Exalted Among Men before we can do a Kingdom War. So I think we have to do some, some little wars around here. Like, I don't really want whales, but we might have to do it just to get it over with. Vrangian Adventure, Vrangian Adventure for sure. Just abandon everything. Go over there. No, I had it on internal. Let's go to Shortened Truths. Good call. Lost that, huh? <laughs> yeah, you should be able to order vassals around. Be like, hey, buddy, do this or else. Okay, good. There is a perk that does that, yes. Uh, Gazzles, he does. Currently, he does. It was a joke, pot. It was a joke, bastard. Let me jump over here. Just might as well build some stuff. We got the money and everything. Can't do this yet. Can do that. Can do. There and we can't build anything over here. Unfortunately. Absolute control though in London, which is nice. It just it that pisses me off so much. Inside your realm. London is not my capital yet. But it will be once we... I don't think we'll make London my capital, Simmer. We'll wait until my, until we can... We're, we're feudal. We're not going to go through feudal through the normal decision. We're going to go through the secure uh, fashion. We're going to wait to do these. So, I mean, honestly, at this point... Oof. We're going to have to switch to medicine once we jump into him. Because there's a chance he won't be able to even do it. Host a feast. A cheery gathering. Yeah, you adopt feudal ways. Oh, shit. Rosven stood catatonic in the middle of it all. <laughs> in the drunken stumble, Yar uh, full of upper, unlatched an enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall. Savory broth swell or welled forth to cover half the room in a sea of stew. Proud Theory, seated next to the cauldron, was caught by the rushing, rushing wave and loudly cursed her. Ruined appearance wait, by the rushing wave and loudly cursed her ruined appearance as grease ran down her face. Guests rushed to the other side of the hall as the thick mass spread greasy tendrils among skipping feet. Earl Sven stood catatonic in the middle of it all, shocked and horrified at the decadent waste. Yeah, what the hell, man? Well, yeah, Simmer, that'd be actually pretty cool, right? Like a glorious last stand. Look forward to welcoming you all back in the near future. <laughs> No, it didn't didn't doesn't look like it. Yeah, Ruin, that, that does exist too, which is nice. Um okay.
Little kid. Just to promote culture. Okay, so this is now Asatru, which is Google Norse, I mean. I guess we'll just sway this guy. I, I don't want to do anything with him. I just want to kill him. <laughs> no. Not even worth it. Set, guys, I gotta pee real quick. Hold on. Ooh! Oh, something. Not like this. Put this over there. Press this button. Because my legs are dying. Oh. My head slowly creep up in the view. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Okay. This is kind of getting frustrating. What do we do with this situation, my bros? That's not gonna go well for this dude. Staffordshire is about to have a bad situation going on.
It's a single like little cloud of Norse. It's happening. <laughs> Yeah, Simmer, it's very hard, especially if they change things in 1.2, maybe it's 1.1, where if you assign a character as a new religion to that region, it doesn't automatically convert. He'll convert it, but it just takes time. What do we do here, guys? I I'm like, I'm kind of just at a loss. I don't know what to do. I guess we just wait until the 14 months and then we can attack England again, but what's going to piss me off is we'll do a duchy conquest on England, we'll take England, and these two, well this county is going to be gone, but this county will still remain, and that's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I could do a war over here. I mean, these guys, this guy usually, just, my vassals usually just keep picking at him. I can't, Tom, look. It'll take eight years to do it. And I have such a low chance of it going through. Dude, Brittany is getting pretty girthy, though. Look at that. Good for them. Good for them. That's a Yaldum, though. That's not even a kingdom. That's interesting. Go back there and help yourself. Ugh, Mots. Alright, we'll switch to Mots. That's annoying. Skilled Slaves! Nothing like getting personal. In our recent communication, my vassal Earl Alfred expressed a want to focus on his ambitions and interests more. I could make sure that our coming letter contained more on the topic close to his heart. The ruling of a realm surely interests him. Doesn't. Enjoys subterfuge and intrigue. Nothing entices him like a good book. Eh, we'll see how it goes. Responsibility to encourage my slight dip into more personal topics. I, now I just have to keep pretending that I know anything about scholarship. Oh shit. So we just destroyed this guy's army to help out the this fight. Oh, please let it end soon. Nine months. Nine months, man. Beast, my court and hammer. Whoa. Ah, Scaly. Scaly skin himself. It'll be my pleasure. Rotten crotch over here, and my even tempered seer. Give up my opinion on theological treatises, a subject that he is deeply interested in himself. <clears throat> a subject that interests me as well, friend. Done. What 
just happened? Oof. Loud crash resounds through the great hall as one of the doors of the service quarters break. In a barely clothed temple, my vassal, Chieftain Home Gear. My acquaintance. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is this? Uh, they had such a secret. Big oof indeed. Well. <clears throat> I guess I have no, uh... Even Rugen is the Plobian. Ah. Another one. 18 members in this one. Ugh. So much crap going on. What's up with him? So close. Eight months. Uh, and if we didn't do it in time, the blot ended before that. Turning home. Farewell, my friend. An eager reveler we become. Not increase our health, though. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no. Just increase opinion of revelers. Ugh, we really gotta. We really gotta kick the bucket. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we really gotta kick that bucket soon. I'm just saving real quick, just in case any shenanigans happen here. Compliments. Uh, youthful vigor. What ha what's going on here? To make my Earl Alfred more susceptible to my attempt at approaching him, I can include a compliment on my next missive at his, at his, to his court. I'll be sure to mention his youthful vigor at the discretion of who the hell are you? Well, you are a friend, and you would probably know such things, so... Let's see. We're 39. Midlife crisis is right around the corner. Making beasts over here. They're making massive monsters. I like that one. In heaven, one against Coastal, the son of. Where's that? Okay, it's down there. Good. Uh, oh, Jesus, fine. This card has been a source of joy for me, hasn't it? Though, it's better be worth my time. Don't worry, I'm about to help you out in this conquest over here, buddy. Seven more months. Come on. Feels right, at least just because you're an eager reveler. I'm about to get corpulent, I bet. Over my new shirt? The guy who invites us? Isn't this the guy who invited us? What a show you put on. Okay, yeah, that, you'll get that, buddy. It's just because I need you to not be a dick. But you're about to get deposed is what it looks like. The balls host. Oh, no, no, no. Different guy. I guess I could help in this. I probably should. Well, it's at 100%, so it's about to... <laughs> I fucking didn't even... I didn't wasn't paying attention.
sniper came with blade mask. Nice. We don't need to gather anymore. Nephew imprisoned, huh? Oopsies. I don't know what happened. What was the result of that war? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have clicked through it so quickly. I was like, what the hell is this war? I can get it over with. I chiefs of the aisle. That's kind of cool. Uthmar comes of age. Comes a thrifty clerk. What a little guy. Okay. Still doing that white. They're still doing that fight. If only I could join that stupid war. Four more months. Come on, let's just bulldoze through it. Asta comes of age. My daughter. And a good daughter she is. A good daughter she is indeed. I don't know what to do with you though. I suppose we'll we would uh, land your your my brother-in-law here, my sister, my my son-in-law, my son-in-law. Probably land him in the newly established Kent. Oh yes, it is. Fourteen years on all these. Yes. Make it so. Who did you marry? You can do whatever you want, buddy. You should have your own stuff going, man. My son doesn't need a wife now. You aren't wrong. He doesn't need anyone specific. I age. Did, was there anyone... No more beautiful kids. I just heard. Ooh. Hmm. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, do that. That'll at least bring an inheritable trait into that little portion of the bloodline. Now, is this done with? 49 days. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ting meets are necessary for chore, necessary, a necessary chore for any decent king. With all the free men in the area, turning up to discuss local affairs, market, and jostle for this privilege or that. As to be expected, with such a large gathering, they have a way of turning heated, and this Ting is no exception. I struggle to follow the details through all the yelling, but it seems as though men from Westfold are squabbling over a village along the border with Elamark. Okay. People of Westfold are right. I mean, it's both my lands. They'll tire themselves out eventually. Don Luke Picard, USS Enterprise. In the popular opinion doesn't matter to me because they're both fine. Um, the people of Westfall, because it'll make that an even, they'll give me even more levies. Or they'll tire themselves out and lose stress. Squabble again, man. It just keeps happening over here.
does give me a lot of stress, though. Which I can take, I guess, actually. Oh, the levery reinforcement rate is reduced. I don't want that. Levy size is increased. What up, Vitze? Fight them both. All of you. Fight me. No, they'll tire themselves out eventually. I'm just going to go with that one. Maybe that's what caused that to come up again, actually, though. Now that I think about it. Ugh. 40 days. Getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right there. <sighs> Can't wait. Cannot wait. How far away from Exalted from Men? Probably. Let me save this real quick, because I could probably do that by creating some titles real fast and just giving away duchies. What titles can be created? Okay, Essex. Ugh, no, there's nothing particularly good. I don't even know what's going on over here. He does, Guinness. He also has this little piece of shit right here. He's got Cheshire. I mean, it's it's like a waste, right? It's like a waste of a, of a, of a kingdom invasion. I think we make the Duchy of Lancaster. And give it to this guy, and he might actually do the deed. That'll transfer the, the particularly bad ones. I mean, he should now try to get Cheshire on his own. Because he's pretty strong. And I can give him West Riding, or Ridding. I'm actually not bad at the, uh... Dorvik's pretty good. Here, take the money and leave me alone. Well, Simmer, if I jump in on this war right now... I can actually get this whole thing to go through so that Anglia will take Cam Cambridge. Should I give, though, this vassal to him? The, the, the interesting thing about this vassal is that he is smack dab in between Jorvik and Lancaster. Look at the duchy, the year duchies. Jorvik is part of it, and the Lancaster is the other part of it. So... It's basically which one of these do I want to empower more. But I think if I do this, it'll let's just I think I think this is the right call. Do the duchy. Yeah, it's not worth it to waste. On Kent. And then we just go bulldoze right into this. Let's finish what my father started.
I'm gonna have to kill this guy too. This guy is just a thorn. He, he's hurting my beautiful colors. Who are you fighting against? Oh, I didn't want to. You just grant you that vassal and you wouldn't fight anymore, would you? And he used to have so many more lands, but I think it's just this dude alone now. Yeah, I think it's just him. So we will do... We have all that land up there now, too. I'm causing border gore, dude! What's up, Melee? How are you? Tide is going to come through these lands. Oh, did you? That's not, that won't avail you, I, I promise. Okay, so we're going to go to here first. Start sieging. Station these besiegers. Reorganize. Oh, plenty of levies here. Actually, we want less. What's the, uh... We want 3,100, basically. That should be perfect. Uh, the reason they're built, they're splitting up is because of the supply. I can make it so they don't do that. I just have chosen to have it do that. All my siegers are busy. Exactly, yeah. Ruin just just uh, illustrated that point again. And I kept these guys there so they'll be able to replenish. You can, uh, Ruin. So when you go to press... I uh, click here. Control click to not split the army's base on supplies. Ha! And you're leading it? There's a reason I'm leading this army. Thank you, Rowinger. I appreciate that, man. Are you heading out? I'm staying. We're, we're going to keep streaming for a little bit longer. I'm trying to... Oof. Two champions. For what? I don't see a need to call you to war. I think you're fine over there, man. Oh, you're actually a lot bigger than I thought you were. Damn. Where is this? Oh, you're over there? Well, allow me to roll on over you. Actually, let's... Let's split... No, no, no. I want to... Go together. Uh, split a new army into... Yamsvikingos. And some levies. Where is the... Where is the dude? I guess my brother-in-law can lead it. So you're a winter soldier, so go have at it. Then I will go over here and split up into this land so that in case he comes back, we've got the means to do the damage. Oh, damn it. That war didn't go through. Maybe it stopped because I went to war with him. Son of a bitch. Well, we'll see what happens. Where's the dude's looking like his rug? Now we're exalted among men, so we can do that war. I might go to break some seats, some things here. I, I mean, it just kind of has to happen. Whoa! Never seen this. That's a zero zero. Who wins? Oh, he won. Oh, yeah, man, the fear is coming for you, dude. You know what? Are you trying to leave? Are you trying to leave these shores? 
What a jerk. Child of my dynasty. Dude, look at these look at these machines that are coming out, dude. Trifa, I like that name. Simple, easy. Ah. My big army up in that butt. Enemy combatant captured. Lord Sirgi the hospitable of Ferlix. Oh, so many people. Captain Maurice, <laughs> the fifth Norwegian conquest of Kent. After King Olaf's guest, Alof, we just we just got so many people out right there. But again. I wish we could help you out over here, man. Aha! Good. Feels good. Where are you? Who are you of? Earl of where? No, where, where, where is this place? Oh, Flanders? You may go. But you will pay the iron price. Um... Who are you? This is your son? And that we just beat the crap out of in this war? Oh, it's your primary heir. You don't want to pay any money for this guy? Duke Derek, the Anglo-Saxon? Kind of an Anglo-jerk. I could ransom him. But it doesn't seem to be worth it because he's got no money. Alternatively, I could kill him. Man. This is the Isle of Man over here. Dude, there's just this is these are just like terrible people here. I got cancer? That's terrible. This is horrible over. This is horrible. What a twist indeed, guys. House of Aragon? If I kill him, then he loses, then his son becomes the heir, and it's a son, it's a, it's a nine-year-old boy. Normandy was, nor, the Normans were created, but it looks like they didn't actually go through, unfortunately. And the friend, uh, the, like it was created and then lost. Of Flanders here, huh? But we will hold on to that sun. This Earl is... I already ransomed him. Do we just execute him? Do we just execute the king? Yeah, it's tradition. Father killed him, we gotta kill him.
He is executed. He is dead. Why can't we usurp from this tiny child? That just makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I won't divide the land, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. It felt good. Right as they're gathering. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? He said he's not dead. Oh. I guess so this guy is. So you. What are you? Oh, the Principality of Man. I don't want to keep like going back and forth like that. Oh, damn. I thought I was just about to deal with him too. I was about to kill him. <laughs> oh, she died in the dungeon, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Dude, what do we do with this guy though? I could kill him. Principality of Man falls under... He doesn't... Oh, this, this is independent. So Man is independent. Why have these peasants not replaced this turd? Let's see Rick here. Dude. Yeah, he'll pay for him in time. All of these terrible people. Off. Up. Who is this? Do I have this primary heir? Oh, imprisoned by Duke. Okay, okay, okay. Who are you? Who are you imprisoned by? Okay, at least anyway. Just hold on to everything. Just hold on to everything. My word has changed his focus of study. Not studying war he was supposed to be studying warfare. Good. Good boy. Good 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 fearsome boy. <laughs> okay. Whoa. My wife is sick. My wife is sick. That's not good. I'm gonna be go I'm gonna be going slow. Attempt to win my heart, my lady. No. That's my son's wife. Be gone. Banish it. This, this court is falling apart, guys. I look at how big my lands have become up here. We just now can create that duchy. No. <laughs> There's some sort of like... A, that's disgusting. We can do a Wincess campaign sooner or later. I don't know where you think you're going. No, oh, be gone with you. I guess he's raiding.
My niece! Oh, she was a good niece. Look at her. Uhtred's daughter. Oh, that whole family is cursed. Okay, so we took some more people. Um, who are you? Let me you should be able to convert people. But we'll release you, gain a hook. Little Cuthbert. Kent. We'll release you. Demand conversion. Announce your claims and gain a hook. Don't want him getting all crazy. It fell to the wayside, unfortunately. Enrak. Ah, feels great. Why isn't this? There we go. Why isn't this army fighting them? Uh oh. Crusader kings. Now access to the Crusades. That's not going to be good for us. Okay. Disband all. Jesus, look at this force of doom over here. Ugh. I just, it, that makes no sense. I can assassinate him. But, like, what would I gain from assassinating him, you know? Yeah, I'm better off just breaking the truce. Because I'm about to die. Well, I'm not about to die. Assassination is the last true American pastime. You salty son of a bitch, you. Still has the kingdom tile, yep. Intrigue. I'm inviting people into this. Why did this go from like... Can't be convinced. 
bribe. I got plenty of money to do this. Oh, I released something that was in my prison that would help me with that, I think. That's why I released him back into the court to try and just use the hooks to do it. Considering our offer. They created it. They created it a long time ago. A mystic, that's pretty cool. Oh. Let's do this. Oh, we have a peasant uprising, lady. You should, you should deal with that. So maybe what I do? What's this going on here? He's got that. Got that under control. So, all right, they're they're winning that war, which is good. So what I can do here is, oh whoa 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 whoa! Oh, you you have a peasant uprising too? This is crazy! Who would have thought these things would happen to you? Well, I guess you'll have to deal with that. Looks like we're gonna have to complete this campaign here on Tuesday. Ah, uh, he's he's just fine it seems. But I think we give Reading and Oxford to um, to this couple. We land him, even though he's kind of an asshole. I, I I'll give him that. But I think if we land him. Um, and we get like these kids kind of moving towards something good. Alternatively, I could give lose to uh, I, I know that's not how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. I can grant this to a son. I think we're losing some titles in succession right now. Yeah, we are losing some titles in succession. Yeah, the Glorious had to, I think. We land him into Reading and, and uh, Oxford. And that will help out with... Because um, I'll create a duchy here. A secret tunnel. Let's see about this. Huh. I guess just help out with that real quick. 
My agent approaches me with a bunch of parchment collection in his hand. I found an old architectural sketches of the king's castle. That'd be a bit outdated, but look here. Ooh, he's fighting something. Looks like a tunnel. A mason. No, 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 no. Tunnel. Who is he fighting against? Well, who is he imprisoned by? How did he get imprisoned in this? Oh, he was raided! Wow! Uh, this is uh, Norris. There's a mod here that changes all of the water and the terrain effects and it makes it look like um, Imperator. Imperator Rome. So that's pretty cool, right? That guy's actually juiced. This guy's super strong. And I'm afraid... Well, it shouldn't be too big. 300, 600, so that's... Uh, 555, 558. With this dude, at, at what? 1500? Like, that could be pretty bad. A child of my dynasty. Oh, sway, religious convictions. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to do that. I can't, I'm, I don't have the, I didn't have the learning to do that one. Good. This guy expanded our lands over here. We can surf that. And we'll give it to this guy. Got the title. Now you are over him. How's that feel? How's his skills? We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh man, the princess is in that scheme. Oof. Be winged messenger. As my scheme moves closer to fruition, the swift communication is key. I have an especially clever pigeon with Countess Harrow's with could use to send an urgent message here to me here and also if needed arises. But how would I get the bird into the castle of Rusion? Hmm. So nothing happens. The gift reaches. Aha! Another child. Man, we're just popping them out over here. These these guys are just having kids. Grandson. Yeah, I don't have the the proper mod in there. I have to I have to find it and put it in for you guys. I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to do this. I barely used trail. I thought it was preparing a special trip for young King Ethelwolf. The child trusts he will be brought on an enjoyable day in the forest. Ethelwolf will unfortunately get lost and be impossible to find before night fell. Oh, he was so young too. Make it so. A mangled corpse. King Ethelwolf is dead. The search went longer than the night before it was called off and re reconvened at dawn. It was only then that the body was found, bloodied, mangled, and torn after an attack by some vicious, hungry beast. At least I hope it was it was a beast's doing. Thankfully, everyone agrees it is a terrible tragedy. My involvement and the existence of any scheme remains unknown. And they say children are the future. I have done a dirty deed. Declare war. And I... I, I hate to do this, but I think I'm going to just get it over with and invade the kingdom. Because if I do this any other way, 
then I have to do two county wars, and I'm just not down with that. I, it, this is, I, w I want this to come to an end. I, I think that this was a really fun campaign until it came to this part of trying to deal with the that king title passing from all the way down to the county level. Like, I think if they're a count, um, that shouldn't, that shouldn't, uh, it, it should, it just shouldn't be like that. It is time. This is what I wanted to end the stream on. Look at it, just swarming over here. We just need to engage. Let's get him going into the engagement there. Actually, that was a dumb idea. It's gonna take 30 days. Where's this? Raise him! First army of the Norman Cross, that's so sick. Uh, I'll get it in just a second for you, Norris, here. IR Terrain is the name of it. See it right there. I ought to rain over there. That first one on the list. Ah, oh, just barreling into it. Keeps making more and more men for me to capture. It's done. It is fucking done. Oh. Look at we just got so many prisoners from that. I know we got all these prisoners, but here, I'll, I'll ransom this guy because he can pay for himself. But everyone else just... It's just, we're doing it. We're just, we're getting it done. Wabam! Oh, the Kingdom of England, create the title, make it so, oh, then adopt a special succession type, think on the matter, ancient ways of the people, Scandinavian elective, bam. Look at that. We've done it. Now, really what we have to do is hold him now for 30 years. And he's 41. So I don't even think we can skip him, you know, if we wanted to. Who's his son? Didn't we land his son? No, but we should. His shot, his, his shot. Okay, so. Son, got it. Cool. What's going on? But I think we give his son.
vassal. If I land this, then I can choose my wife. I believe so, yes. Because he's a vassal of mine then at that point. Don't defend donation. David, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Oh. And everything goes to me. To y'all dear here, dire. Arrange a marriage? No, I, it looks like I can't. I have to be his dad. So, take a look at our, look at our lands, man. Look at these sons of bitches. I I, I just really want to I want to do this. I really just want to subjugate him now. The king of the three crowns. Like, look at it. It it, it disturbs my my eye. Look at that. That's just ugly swath of blue. Which, I mean, it's like my favorite color, so it's fine. Next to purple. Thank you for the donation. Four crowns, don't forget Sweden. You're right, we have Sweden on here. Damn, this guy got really strong from that. Sigurd the Restless. Uh, he won't agree to a vassal because he's at war. If I'm, if I increase his opinion of me, it might help. But now we just have to pretty much. So next episode we'll land my grandson. And we have to just... I think if we land my grandson, I can... I can... I have a fat stack of cash, this guy. Yeah, 26, he'll be pretty high. All right, so let's go ahead and save here. We'll jump in and finish this off on Tuesday. Um, Lucas, I believe so. I believe you live and like, so let's take a look here. If I was to jump down here for elephant tree, Somali culture is not present in India or Southeast Asia. To be present, either 27 counties in India or Southeast Asia are Somali, culturally, 40% or 40% of all Somali counties are inside India or Southeast Asia. So if you do that, you can then get that technology. If that helps you, Guinness. Or I'm sorry, uh, Lucas. So we're getting there. We're going to jump in on... Ooh, all was getting really big, guys. Look at that. They're taking, taking a, a Dolrita there. A little Dolrita. Norris, thank you very much. I'm glad, I'm glad they helped you out. I'm sorry, I'm, I hope I can help you out when it comes to Stellaris, because that's what my next big adventure is going to be. Um, yes, exactly, Lucas. That's what you need to do. Look at Aquitaine. Whoa, the kingdom of Aquitaine. Look at that, owning so much of Italy. Byzantine Empire over here is still pretty big. Pazaria got really big. Abbasids are so strong. But really, like, I think I'm the strongest force on the map. And you've... Do you guys see that number? Nine... Oh, oh my god, my brain. I thought I read that as 95,000. I was like, how is that possible? Three hundred. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't. Can you organize by military strength? 
Oh, you can. All. Yeah, it's me. I'm the top. Byz Byzantium Empire is, is is after that. Dude, what if we did this? Oh, we can. Uh, like a subjugate on the Byz on the Byzantine Empire. How awesome would that be? And we're 53. Your health is fine, unfortunately. Cup bear needs to switch, I think. Switch over to this. Yeah, now we're just hail. Next stream will be on Tuesday, I believe. And then we will see. If I don't finish it by then, unfortunately, we'll be just be jumping into um, uh, Stellaris after that. But I'll go ahead and save here one more time just so we have this all taken care of. Let me go through some of the donations we got today and give some thank yous out because we've got quite a few. So let me go through those. Um, first one here from Paris with a $5 donation. Then Rowinger dropping, I think, three total donations here today, each one 50 Norwegian Kronu. So thank you very, very much, Rowinger. Um, Piglet with a massive 500. I'm sorry. Yeah, Norwegian Kronu for Rowinger. Piglet dropped a 500 Swedish Kronu donation. So thank you very, very much, man. Super, super, super generous of you. Massive one into the hole there. David Danielek with the customary five Canadian swinging in hot and heavy saying for another coffee. Delcian dropping a $5 donation saying thank you for all of the tutorials and a hello from Brazil. GR Gazzles with a $20 donation. Thank you very much, man. I hope I hope this one was up to snuff for you. It was a nice long one. Um, David Danielek, another five uh, in Canadian. David B with a $5 donation as a celebration for the new land we have completed together. We're trying to get the, the King of the High Seas, but what has to happen is our son needs to take over, and then we just need to wait 30 years. Well, I think it's just to make Norris so that you can't just do it on a on a on a drop of a like drop of a hat. Like you get it all real quick and then you do it and you basically solidify it for yourself. So I think that now pretty much next episode is gonna be me pressing fast forward to jump into 930 930 or 963. But guys, the 30-year thing is just, it's annoying. I mean, we're not going to, there's nothing that's going to affect me actually being able to get it. It's just going to have, we're going to have to deal with that going all the way through. We're not playing on Iron Man 2, so I'm not even going to get the achievement, which is annoying. So we can kind of, if we don't finish by Tuesday, we can just kind of call this complete. Um, it's just kind of an annoying thing. I just, I would really like to see the Sea King and the, and the game, the High King of the Seas. It sucks too that like, if if he w inherited now, he'd still be thirty one or seventy one when he was actually achieved it. So I wish I could just kind of see because he's not he doesn't he's not a claimant to the throne, and I can't. Isn't there a law, maybe? Slow, part of this, add a law. No, I mean, this is all what I can do. Yeah, next time, Upland, would, Upland will be our next, next turn, or next episode, we'll just destroy Upland and make this all one big ol' pink continent reddish pink continent it does it doesn't norris uh the title sea king is not uh do you gain high king of the seas character is the undisputed ruler of the north sea a supreme philosocrat never even seen that never heard that word you gain the nickname which is not passed down which kind of sucks both of these won't pass down. This might, uh, it might, but I don't think it does. It does increase my life expectancy, which is cool too. All right, guys, we'll be back here on Tuesday with some more Crusader Kings before we jump into Stellaris. I've got plenty of other coverage planned for Bannerlord, especially when 1.5.10 comes out and some other fun stuff. But please enjoy the rest of your weekend. Wash your hands, stay safe, and we'll be back here on Tuesday with some more uh, Crusader Kings.
Absolute Revenger. You too, Norris. Thanks for jumping in, man. Gazzles, good to see you. Bortu Kali, good to see you too, my, my dude. Oh. Uh, you cannot edit nicknames. Oh. But all right, guys. I'm going to go take a break. My eyes are fried. My stomach is, is rumbling in the tumbling. And I will see you guys here. Absolutely, Ninja. Happy to help you out, my bro. Toodles. Later, DC. We'll see you next time then, man.